morning it's just gone half six it's a bit fresh over here it's about five degrees celsius so temperature starting to drop thought I'd take you with me this morning we're gonna go and do a little job um i've got to go and quickly grab the parts from the office so i'll catch up with you guys in a bit we got the parts shove them in the truck i think i'm gonna go and get a coffee and then i'll meet you there Just a medium latte, please. That's it, thank you. Thank you. Look at that for a really nice sky. That's what I love about winter mornings. I think what we're going to do, we're just going to take this grab bag, um, just put, put the drill on the side, we'll tighten that up a bit, a bit quicker to get the fixings undone. Um, got the parts. I'll take these ladders and then uh, we'll go and have a look. This is the unit we're working on, Mitsubishi Electric. So it's obviously a cassette type unit. We're going to be changing the internal lift pump and the float switch. If you don't know, inside this unit, there is an internal lift pump to get rid of the condensate water. Next to that, there is a float switch. And when the water level rises in that drip tray, the float switch rises and makes, and then that cuts this unit off in a fault, obviously to prevent it from um, leaking water everywhere. I'm gonna show you how to strip this down and um, get, to the, get to the internal lift pump and float switch. Obviously we're in a server room, there's a lot of kit in here, probably too much heat load for the equipment that we've got. So it does have an effect when we turn one of these off, they're twin splits. So when I turn this off, another one's gonna go off. You'll see like they've got a few temporary units rigged up down there. So um, we'll turn this off and we'll just get at it. Obviously I'm gonna show you how to do this on this particular unit. So on this Mitsubishi Electric, um, it's gonna vary obviously between different units, different manufacturers, but please, if you're looking at this, only attempt this if you're qualified to work on air conditioning systems. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do, obviously, is them two tabs there, drop them down, and then just unhook your filter fascia. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is, in each corner, you're gonna have these covers, and then you should have a screw. They're not always in, but get them screws out of there, and then them covers are just gonna pull off just like this. Right then, I probably skipped the most important step. Before you start any of this, turn the power off to the unit, whether it's a localized spur, um, kill the power, lock it off, and then obviously test that you've got no power. The next thing you want to be doing is getting this cover off here, and then this lead here is the power for the louver motors. So you want to get that unplugged out of there and just pull it out of the way. Next door, make sure all your ceiling grid is supported and then in each corner you can loosen that one take that one there out loosen that one take that one there out and then you're going to be able to sort of wiggle and get this face you're off once you've got the face you're off what I'll do next, um, just get your cables out of here, just catch cables, obviously make sure that is dead, get them out, um, just tuck them away safely. And then you're also going to want to unplug these cables here um, from the board and then just move them out of the way um, down here. Once you've done that, you're going to want to get these screws um, from around this plastic and there's a couple uh, on the electrical box and then we're just going to pull this plastic section down. Right there, next up, each corner you'll see uh, like a metal tab with a screw. That's basically holding all this polystyrene trail. So we're going to 
under all of them and then you're just going to pull down on that try that's going to come out and then hopefully that's going to expose our lift pump and float switch in this corner There we go, that is the drip try and I probably should have said first, when you take this down, there's a little plug in the corner, uh, just there look, if you unplug that you can drain whatever water is in there, um, I've just drained it into this bucket, so that's it, now we've got the unit exposed, uh, that there is the lift pump, that there is a the float switch, so I'll show you them now. Right then, there we go. So, that there, that's your lift pump, if you didn't know. So you're gonna suck water up the bottom and it's obviously gonna pump it up this tube and out the unit. Next to that, that there is our float switch. So, obviously, if that pump fails and the water starts rising in the tray, it's gonna rise up that switch. When it gets to the top, it's gonna to make and it's gonna close. Just grab that. It's going to close the switch there you go, uh, on that plug there on the PCB and it's going to shut this unit down in an alarm. So this is temperamental for some reason, the switch is um, sticking so we're going to change that. I'm going to change this anyway um, while I've got it all out. So yeah let's just get them changed. That there, that is our new lift pump, that there. That is our new float switch. There's our old pump. You can see there's a bit of a uh, bit of crap in there. Look, um, there's our old float switch so we're going to get these changed obviously I've took this all down on this frame so the best way to do that there's a screw there there's a screw there and then there's a screw there if you take them three screws out obviously you're going to want to cut the cable tie put the rubber hose discharge hose sits on there as well and then just pull that off and then what you can do you can just take these these screws off here um, get these changed same with the floats which is just two screws there and it slides off so we'll get that changed now there we go that's our new uh, lift pump that's our new float switch so um, we just gotta pop that back up into the unit and then uh, put it back together right then I'm going to show you how to test this float switch so I've got my leads on this plug you need a meter set your meter to continuity and then when that floats down there should be no continuity now if you imagine the drip tray fills with water and that float rises as you can hear, that's now closed, or the switch, it's made the circuit, so that's gonna send a signal into that piece of B to tell that unit that it's now in fault. all back together I wasn't gonna bore you with the putting it back together but it's just a reverse process of taking it apart um, that's working now um, it's back on on the controller so yeah hopefully it helps someone um, just a little insight into what 
the internal lift pump looks like on one of these if any of you guys haven't seen one before. I'm going to pack up the tools, go and load up the truck and I'm out of here. As always, massive thank you for watching. Please hit the like, subscribe button and I'll catch you guys on the next one.